你好，学生。So today, 今天 in our Mandarin class, we're gonna talk about something really interesting. We are going to talk about. Oh, hold on! I have a special guest here today. Hi, 你好 That's my friends. 你叫什么名字？他叫 Fox. So, he's my friend Fox. He's my friend Fox. He's going to join us today to learn about a very interesting lesson. Let's see. Fox has a little question for us. Oh, I see. So, Fox said, "What does pinyin mean?" Pinyin. All right. Let me tell you all about that. So, pinyin, pinyin. So, well, pinyin is the Romanization of the Chinese character based on their pronunciation in Mandarin Chinese. The phrase "pinyin" literally translates into "spell sound." In other words, spelling out Chinese phrases with letters from the English alphabet. Hmm. I hope I answer your question, Fox. Oh, okay. I guess Fox have another question. Okay, so Fox, 我的朋友 my friend Fox want to know what is a pinyin used for? Hmm, good question, Fox. Well, let's see. So pinyin is the most widely used system of writing Mandarin Chinese that used the Latin alphabet. It is a great tool to help you learn the accurate pronunciation of a Mandarin words. Hmm. I hope I answer your questions, Fox. You have more questions here for me. All right. Ready? Oh, I see. Hmm. That is a very good question. 非常好，非常好 Very good. Very good question. So my friend Fox want to know. Do Chinese people write in Pinyin? Let's find out. Hmm. Whoa. No, no, no. But Chinese use a Pinyin to type the characters. The system of a Pinyin was developed to teach and regulate pronunciation. But however, some people sometimes don't know or forget how to write a Mandarin character. So then. You could write in Pinyin, or write another character with the same sound as the one you want to write out. I hope I answer all your question, Fox. 再见 So now, let's move on. Wait a second. They have a sounds. So as we said earlier, Pinyin. It's a Mandarin spelling word, so let's try to sound it as the spelling word. Ready? B as a but, right? So, ba, pa, ma, fa, da, ta, na, la, ga, ka. Sing it. So, pinyin ge, pinyin song. Let's try to sing it. Ready? 
So my turn, your turn. On your mark, repeat after me. Ba pa ma fa. Da ta na la. Ga ka ha. Ji chi si. Zhi chi shi yu. Zi chi si. Yi wu yu. A o a e. I A L O. An N An M O. We come to sing. Pinyin Ge. So now practice, and you can sing along. So let's try it again. Fa pa ma fa. Ah, let's do it. Let's do it. Ready? 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 All right. Fa pa ma fa da ta na la ga ka ha ji chi shi. We do in Mandarin class. So pinyin is the Mandarin spelling word, right? So pinyin ge is the Mandarin pinyin song. So next, but guess what? Beside pinyin, we have a tone for each color character. So how many tone do we have there? Let's find out. Ready? So ma. Let's sound this. Ready, ma. What does that mean? Mother. All right, ready. Let's try this. Ma. Nun. Ma. Horse. Ma. Scoot. I mean curse. Ma. Question word, and notice that they sounds very similar. But how many different character do we see there? 一二三四五个 character, and notice on top of their Mandarin pinyin. I'm gonna point at it for you. Ready? I watch the arrow. So now, oh, do you see it? There's a straight line. So ready, ma, mother, ma, no, ma, horse, ma, curse, scold, ma, question word. So, 耳朵听 Listen, they sound slightly different. What is the difference? Is the tone? How many tone? 一二三四五 So keep in mind. So Mandarin has a five tones, and each tone sounds slightly different, and each word means different too. So when you say ma, mean mother, ma num, ma horse, ma curse, ma question word, all mean different thing. So make sure you practice the tone because guess what? You want to find out. You want to say exactly what you mean. So ready? Let's do it again. So let's try the tone one. Ready? Ma, 
ma, ma, that is the third tone. And the fourth tone, ready? Ma. And the last one is very neutral, just kind of softly, ready? Ma. So we'll work on this a little more. So beside pinyin and the tone, what else do we know about Mandarin? There is a character there. Well, Mandarin character could be hard to read. So how about let's try to sound it with the pinyin. Ready? Ni hao. Hello. I let's see. Lao shi, teacher. Xue shen, students. Tong xue, classmate. Ni, you. Wo, I. Shema, what? Mingzi, nan. Hen, very. How, good. Gao xing. Happy. Zai jian. Goodbye. So sound it with the pinyin, and I help you recognize the Mandarin character, right? So now let's practice. Hmm. What do you think? The Mandarin character is telling you here. So let's find out. Ready? Ni hao, lao shi. Ni hao, xue shen. Ni hao, tong xue. Hen, gao xing, jian dao ni. You could sing it too, as we always do. Bye. we kind of learn I say oh wait a second it kind of looked familiar but I couldn't sound it let's see if the pin will help us out ready Zai jian, lao shi. Zai jian, xue shen. Zai jian, tong xue. Ming tian jian. let's do it let's sing it all so Zai jian, lao shi. Say goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, student, and goodbye, classmate. See you tomorrow. Zai Tian Lao Shi, Zai Tian Xue Shen, Zai Tian Tong Xue, Tian Tian. So, Zai Tian Lao Shi, Zai Tian Xue Shen, Zai Tian Tong Xue, Ming Tian Tian. So now, what other Mandarin character have we learned? Let's see. Oh, let's try. I guess it's a quiz time already. So let's work on Mandarin quiz with Miss Lu together. So how many questions? Let's look. E, R, San, Si, Wu. I see. E, R, San, Si, Wu. So let's look. D T D R T D San T D Siti D U T. So now I want you to look at the picture and describe what you see there. Huh, right? So the first one, D T Huh Zai Tia D R T Shen. Remember, 学生, 
Do they raise their hand to ask? Our first listen about raise your hand. Remember the rule number one or number two? Ready? 举手问 So look at the other one. Is that 学生 Yeah. Now look at the second one. Hmm. Happy face. Not quite sure, right? How do you say that in Mandarin? Hmm. Do we sing about that? Maybe. Now the third one, number four. 老师 pretty sure, huh? Yeah, 老师 Now 第五题 the last one. 你好 Okay, let's look. So the choice here are A, B, C, D, and E. I want you to find the correct vocabulary that describe the picture you see, and you fill in the bubble here. So let's do it. Let's look at the first example. Ready? Let's sound it. 老师 Hmm. 老师老师 So let's look at the second one. What do you see? It's saying. Let's find out all this character. Ready? Ready? 你好，学生。高兴，再见。So let's look the number one. What do you think that is? The pig is telling you, 再见。一。Let's look at the earth. Ready? Number two. Who's raising the hand? 举手，举手。Who is that person? 学生。Right? So number three. 很高兴见到你。Oh, that was kind of the song we sing it at the end about so glad to see you, huh? The 你好歌 right? 你好老师，你好学生，你好同学，很高兴。So 高兴 Let's see happy. Number three, huh? Let's see number four. 老师 Pretty sure that right? And the last one. 你好 So now we're gonna practice writing Mandarin character. All right, put your hands up in the air on your mark. Ready? 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。So let's sound this character with me. Ready? 雪，雪。So, 雪 I mean students. Let's see, 雪学生 I sound the character. Ready? 学生 students. 学生 And how do you write a character? Let's trace it. Ready? 一、二、三、四、五、六。七，八，学，学生 ，students. Now, last question for you. So, what is the Mandarin word for spelling writing letters showing the sound of the word in place of a Chinese character? Who know the answer? Hey, wait a second. I hear. I hear the knocking here. Oh wait, my friend is coming. I hear a knocking. Oh, my friend, Fox. Yes, yes. Where's my answer here? Listen out carefully. Ready? What is the Mandarin word for spelling and writing letters in place of a Chinese characters? Can't turn the light on. Show me, show me. Oh, let's see it. Ready? I see you saying, "Pinyin." I hope you got hope you got this correctly. So very last, I'm gonna show you. Before we leave, remember we have our rule about counting. On your mark, ready? Oh, 眼睛眼睛看 ready? 五四三二一零 So what happened when we count to 零 Ready? 安
静，安静。And look, there's a pinyin. A sound. Ready? 安静，安静。Now let's practice our rule. Ready? Ready? 眼睛。Show me how you sound. Ready? 眼睛。看。眼睛看啊、uh, ！What else have we learned? Ready? Oh, show me. Ready? Oh, 耳耳朵耳朵听。And what else have we learned? But who do you listen? Who do you look? <gasps> 老师 ，That sound already. 老师，老师 ，and who else? <gasps> 学生 ，and who have we learned? 同学，同学 ，all right. Time to say goodbye. Ready? 再见 Let's sound it. Ready? 再见，再见，再见 All right. So, 再见，学生。好吧 ，Let's sing it. Alright, 再见 ，OK. Alright, 再见，学生，再见。